Raphael says, needs help? I have a personal and commercial account in Teams. In my personal account, I can see calendar and also create meetings. But in my commercial account, I can't see calendar and not create meetings. Uh, what do I have to do? What what do I do uh, have? Uh, he it's awkward. Mistyped. <laughs> what do I have to do in my commercial team's account? I think there is a conflict between my personal and commercial account. Okay. This this goes back to, you know, how did you create it? So there's two scenarios that I see here. The one I've experienced personally where I created a personal account using a business email at the time. And then later on, the company subscribed to Office 365. And then now I, you, there's two different um basically servers that manage those. So you've got the Microsoft personal accounts and then you've got the M365 accounts and two separate things. You can have the same email in either one and they they don't conflict with each other. Um, so if, he's, if that's the case and he's logging in and is looking at the personal account in his commercial um, tenant, then it's, it's gonna say he doesn't have the rights. He doesn't have the license in that tenant to be able to, to have the calendar. Cause we experience that now as guests and other people's tenants. Like I, I don't have the calendar option at Teams in a lot of the places where I log in and community events and things because I don't have a license in their tenant, I'm a guest. So there's no effort to store those. So I'm wondering, A, are the accounts, you know, be, watch how you're logging in. Cause I think if you're logging in with the personal account and the commercial tenant, you're not gonna see the calendar. Yeah. And I mean, the, the so, change is going on between Teams Personal with the that side dropping off and it all kind of merging into, you know, the sort of the new version of Teams and it's all coming together. You might then see some of that dropping off in terms of tenant switching. You know, it might actually help. There's There were some glitches back when um, that might now be a But not this issue. I'm, I'm having I bigger problems Sherry, now. Sherry, what you're talking obviously. about. Like when, yeah. I, when I go to log in and I use my Collab Talk email, Mm. I get two two boxes pop up. One is, is this my work-related ID, my business one, or is it the personal? And so mm. it's both the same email, to your point, Sherry. Yes, I've got that too. I've yeah, had yeah. logins on both of them with the same email, but mm. now you know into two separate areas. So always make sure for the work one to jump in that way. Now, if-, so if And uh, use different if, passwords for them too. Because yeah, if you use right. the same password, then you get yourself confused as to which yeah, one you're logging right. in. Yeah. 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 Try signing out of one, you know, the personal one. Try do a full sign out and just say signed in on the personal. See if that one's then do a full sign out of the personal and like make sure you completely signed out, signed in with the commercial one. If you're signing in with the commercial one and you're still not seeing in the calendar, then there's definitely you've got some confusion crossover. Conflict and, there. Well, yeah. What I was going to suggest to that is, yeah, I mean, one, exactly that sign out completely. Mm. Um, uh, you can also try logging in via the browser incognito uh, and log in that way and log mm -hmm. in the separately, see if it's still that behavior's there because there are other registry issues um, like I'm having with, with one account um, where it works fine on my laptop when I log in remotely through another PC for my other workstation. Um, but on my primary, it has a, a difficulty there because of uh, registry cleanup that needs to happen where it just won't recognize those. And then the third thing is, I think, Sherry, you also alluded to that, is, you know, for that profile for the commercial license, is that yours or through your company um, is to make sure that the permissions are set correctly? Because there are, it, this has also happened where uh, an admin went in and sometimes erroneously and uh, uh, changed the licensing for the user and took away some rights. So I, I was not using the product or the SKU that I thought I was using and had to have the license reinstated to correct that so I could get access to things. So uh, again, since we can't, you know, Raphael, since we can't ask other follow-up questions to, to try and root out the, the, the problem, that, that's where I would start. Log out, this is the, uh, effectively the, have you tried turning it off and on again solution, <laughs> uh, which is uh, such a real thing in the Microsoft world. Um, two, um, log in through a separate browser or three, go and check with permissions. I mean, the fourth thing I would say, unfortunately, would be if you're still experiencing the issues, 
contact support, have them go in and look and see what's going on with your profile, because it could be, again, something that is ultimately a registry issue that needs to be resolved through help desk. And one of the things that I found, um, one additional place they can check is the credential manager that's on the machine that they're on. Because when you cache your, you and they said, you want to save your login credentials. There's web credentials and there's Windows credentials. And I put a link in the spreadsheet for that so you can see what those look like. But that was, I had to go clear all of those out and then log back in again. And then that seemed to fix my issue at 1.2. So when you save your credentials on your machine, each machine is different. You may have to go in and, and do that little cleanup too.